This is going to be short. Hey everybody, welcome back. And today we've got something extra sweet and delicious for you. I'm sorry, Will from the podcast, you've got a way better Winnie the Pooh than I do. But it is appropriate because it is a sweet, sweet finish on Woodford Reserve bourbon that we have today. And if you like things sweet, 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 just like me, you know what would be really sweet and delicious? If you like, subscribe, leave a comment about your favorite finished whiskey below. Favorite finish you've ever had on a bourbon, let's say bourbon, below, and click that like button because it really helps the channel. But today, we have Woodford Reserve Distillery Series Honey Barrel Finish. So what this is, this released back in September, but I just got the sample last week, so be that what it is. Uh, this is part of the distillery series that sometimes, a couple times a year, they release things like the Double Double Oak in 375 milliliter bottles, distillery only. You can come pick them up in the gift shop. Usually some experimental finishes or different kind of uh, distillation techniques, etc., etc. Kind of an experimental way of doing things. That's how they always push them out. This one like a lot of things in bourbon, is following a trend, honey barrel finishing. So what they've done, again, like other distilleries have done, they took former bourbon barrels that they used at Woodford Reserve, gave them to a honey producer, which in this case, let me make sure I want to get this right. Um, they don't have a particular name, just a local honeybee farmer in Woodford County in Kentucky. They let them age some honey in there, does not say how long. Then those barrels were returned to Woodford to use for the finishing process for their regular standard bourbon. Again, we do not know the finishing length on this one. It's again, the regular Woodford Reserve bourbon put into this second fill honey barrel, courtesy of Woodford Reserve. And it is a 90.4 proof, pretty similar to what they normally do, and an SRP of $59.99. And again, that's for the 375 milliliters. So if this were, if it were a full bottle, we're talking like a $120 bottle, special edition, right? Well, let's see if it's worth all the hubbub like a lot of the other honey finishes were that we saw Bell Mead do something similar. I've seen a couple other distilleries try something similar. They all pretty much follow that same process, bourbon barrel, honey producer, back to the distiller, second barrel finish, right? Let's see how it holds up with good old Woodford Reserve, shall we? On the nose, it is very delicate, light, not as like sickly sweet as I kind of thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be, because Woodford to me is already kind of like a light sweet on the nose, very kind of sugary on the nose, this one. So I thought it would be overwhelming. It's really not. Like almost champagne-y, like White wine, there's a little bit bolder notes underneath there, but it's not as like, it almost feels less rich than regular Woodford, if that makes any sense. But very light, sweet, sugary. And just, it's kind of delicate. Yeah. Cheers. Um, wow. That is surprisingly bitter. I am going to call an audible right now and say maybe there's something going on with my olfactory. Because it smells nice, but that is very, very dry and bitter. On the palate. Much, I, I, I even didn't brush my teeth before this, for this very reason. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first kind of factivity I've done of the day. And I decided not to brush my teeth. It's been a couple hours since breakfast. So like I, that shouldn't be affecting, but that is very, very bitter. Nice little spice. Yeah. Almost white wine. This almost feels like a white wine finish which I've never really liked. Like I'm getting light grapes, champagne -y style grapes, um, dried fruit on the palate there. Nice kind of medium finish. There's this really nice warming sensation that rolls into the back of the palate, but almost no sweetness on that palate like at all. <clears throat> Hits right in the middle, nothing up front. 
and just immediately dries out and goes bitter. Decent little amount of spice. Nice medium finish. But man, I thought there was no honey on this palette at all. Like maybe if you if you're really thinking, like this, if someone gave this to me blind, no way I would know it's a honey barrel finish. If I'm really concentrating, I can pick up some of those honey comb kind of notes in there. But man, I have to really, really think about it. And it's just a light, watery. Dry and bitter, like bitter leaf almost. I don't know if it was just the barrels ugh, didn't, they didn't finish there long enough. So it just added this kind of strange aftertaste. I am not loving that. Honestly, it smelled pretty nice. Again, it was lighter and more delicate than I thought, but it smelled nice. I am. That was not something I would enjoy. Sipping on too much. So for sixty dollars for three seventy five, I don't think I'm going to be revisiting that one if I happen to come across the Woodford uh, Reserve gift shop. But maybe you've had this. Maybe you've had it from a friend. Maybe my I have a head cold and I don't quite know it yet. I'll I'll post an addendum in the comments if I come back to this a week later and maybe it's excellent. But I'm telling you, um, I have had this already once before when I got it. This is my second time tasting it. Um, and I didn't, I was hoping kind of a similar thing happened. That was like two days ago. And this is just more of the same. It's not what I was hoping it would be, but you tell me what finishes do you like? Have you had this? If you haven't, is this something you would still try getting because you like Woodford Reserve? Let me know in the comments below, like subscribe helps the channel. We will see you all next week for more wrestling with whiskey. <laughs>